In the next 45 minutes, the Navy will answer families' questions about its investigation into drinking water. New at 5, Action News Jack's Brittany Donovan shows us why the Navy is testing private wells for potentially dangerous chemicals. Katie Attenborough showed me the letter she got from the U.S. Navy. Her home is in an area around Naval Station Mayport being tested for chemicals known as PFAS. That's very concerning. Brushing your teeth, I mean, when you take a shower, what are you going to do? Used in firefighting foam on base, the chemicals may have seeped into groundwater. Research published by the CDC says they could be carcinogenic to humans. As a precaution, NS Mayport wants to test all private wells around the base. Right now, we're along Wonderwood in Mayport, and many families live along this stretch of road. It's just one area where the Navy is testing to see if families who live here are affected by the chemicals. NAS Jax is testing 180 wells near Outlying Field White House, and Mayport says it sent out at least 20 letters to families. Also in the test area, part of Hannah Park. I asked the city if families should be concerned. What steps are going to be taken? Do we need to get off this well water and get on uh, uh, city water? Attenborough tells me she plans to ask those questions at the open house the Navy is hosting from 6 to 8 p.m. at Mayport Middle School. She says to be on the safe side, she's been using bottled water for herself and her pets. Reporting in Mayport, Brittany Donovan, CBS 47, Action News Jax. The Navy began testing water near bases in 2016. Action News Jax told you when levels at wells around NAS Jax were found to be safe in August of last year.